Today we're going to show you how to properly hook up a Wilmar Super 500 fertilizer spreader. When you're hooking up this machine, there's a pin that has a safety chain. Make sure the pin is down through your draw bar and then your safety pin is down on the bottom of the pin as well. We always want you to hook up the safety chain in case something would happen to the pin um, and that will keep it hooked to the machine if that would fail. This machine here has a hydraulic uh, engaged belt line drive for uh, turning off the spinners when you're making turns so you're not spreading and wasting material when you're making your turns. Um, and if you don't have hydraulics, it has a rope pull that you can manually pull the rope to disengage the belt drive. It is a PTO over belt. Please make sure that your PTO is hooked up properly. And when engaging your PTO, make sure you're at a low RPM. That way you don't spin the belt off the back of the machine. Now that we have the front of the machine secured, we now have to engage the belt line. This machine here has a manual engagement. Um, you have to pull the pins out. And this machine here lets the chain ride down on a sprocket that is a ground driven. Please make sure that the chain is securely on the sprocket or it will slip and not spread properly. Once you've determined that, um, Belmont Mills will give you the density of the material that you're using. You find that density gauge here on the chart and you find the depth of what you're trying to go with your door. So three and a half inches determined. You loosen your gauge here. Find three and a half inches on your chart back here in the back. Secure that, do a quick inspection of your belts, make sure that they're on. If everything is proper, you're now ready to engage your machine. This here is a quick demonstration to see how the mechanism disengages and engages the belt line when you're going around turns. Um, if you see the mechanism, see how the whole machine is turning right now, the whole belt line is turning. All right, that has material coming to the machine. If you want to disengage that when you're making a turn, you're going to either let go of your manual rope or hit your hydraulic ram. As you can see, that rod come back into place. And what that does, that kicks this mechanism into neutral. As you can see, the ground would still be spinning, but your belt line has stopped. To simply get that to go back in, you either pull on the rope or engage your hydraulic ram. And now you are back to spreading and applying material. Once you're complete with your spreading process, you want to close your gate and then you're going to have to manually disengage your belt line drive. This is imperative because you do not want to run this machine down the road with the belt engaged. So that's simply achieved by just releasing, pushing down on the bar, and securing your pin. Now you're ready to return the buggy. Thank you for using this machine. Belmont Mills appreciates your business.